Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on perimeter. Uh, so in this video we'll cover two different skills, uh, starting with the perimeter of simple 2D shapes. Uh, so first of all, uh, what is a perimeter? Well a perimeter is just the distance around the edge of a 2D shape. So here we have a rectangle with side lengths of 3cm and 11cm. Uh, so in order to calculate the perimeter, we just need to add the side lengths together. Uh, so let's label the other ones. So in a rectangle, there are two pairs of equal sides. So that means this side is also 11 centimeters and this side is three centimeters. So the perimeter is then 11 plus 11 plus three plus three, and that equals 28 centimeters. So that's how to calculate the perimeter of a simple 2D shape. Let's move on now. So skill number two is calculating the perimeter of compound shapes. So a compound shape is just a shape made up of more than one other shape. Uh, so uh, to calculate the perimeter, we need to work out what all the sides are. So let's first of all work out this side, seeing as though we don't know what it is yet. Um, so uh, we can see that this distance here between F and A is seven. Uh, there are no units given in this question. Um, and let's draw a line here. So we'll make two rectangles out of this compound shape. Uh, and then we know that in a rectangle, there are two pairs of equal sides. So that means that this distance here must be five because it's the same as this side here. Uh, so therefore ED is just the difference between this seven and this five. So that is two. And then we'll change color now to make it clear. So we also need to work out this side here, D to C. Uh, so we'll use the same logic. So A to B is 12 and F to E is three. So D to C therefore is 12 minus three, which equals nine. So the perimeter is therefore the sum of all these sides, which is three plus nine plus five plus 12 plus seven. And that gives us a value of 38. So if we take a look at an example question now, so A, B, C, D, E is a compound shape consisting of a rectangle and a semicircle. Calculate the perimeter of the shape to three significant figures. Uh, so there's two unknown sides here. There's the curved side, which is AED, and then there's this side here, CD. Uh, so this side is pretty easy to work out because um, ABCD is a rectangle, so this side is also six centimeters. And then to work out the length of the curved side, uh, well, you can see here that this distance here, which is also 13, is the diameter of the semicircle, um, and the circumference of a circle is circumference C equals pi D. Uh, now D is the diameter. So if this was a full circle, the circumference would be 13 times pi. Uh, but we don't have a full circle. We have a semicircle. So this distance is therefore half of this, which is 13 pi over two. Um, and then that gives us a value of 6.5 pi for the, uh, the curved side. And then if we want to find the perimeter, we just add all of the side lengths together so the perimeter is 6 plus 6 plus 13 plus 6.5 pi. So let's plug all that into the calculator. So 6 plus 6 plus 13 plus 6.5 times pi. That gives us a value of 45.4. So the perimeter equals 45.4. Now, there are no units given in this question. Uh, but if it was centimeters, for instance, then this value would be in centimeters. Or if these other numbers were in meters, then this could be meters. So perimeter is always measured in distance. So if you found this video useful and you'd like to practice some perimeter based exam style questions, uh, why not visit our online exam, which you can find through our revision platform. Uh, if you take the exam, you'll find a variety of different question types, uh, plenty of questions to practice and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them which will allow you to keep track of the areas that you need to improve. Uh, so if you're interested, click the link below, it'll take you straight there.